Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this video I'm going to give you a lot of tips that can help you improve your printing quality with the DaVinci Pro machine. So if you want to have very very good prints with this machine or if you want to tinker it or maybe repair it if you have some problems then for sure watch this video because I will give you a lot of tips that can help you. So let's get started. So my tip number one, when you're working with a DaVinci Pro machine, use a good build plate. As you can see at this moment I have Captain tape on my printer and also I use some glue and with this glue I adhere my uh, Captain tape so my plastic from the extruder sticks very well to it. This can be used for both PLA and ABS. And uh, also nylon seems to work very good with Captain tape. I also use Biltac. Biltac is uh, another type of plate and then you don't have to use the glue stick. Uh, but Biltac is more expensive and at the moment I'm having very much Captain tape. So I'm using this at this moment. Tip number two. Always make sure your cable management is, is okay. So uh, my cable protectors uh, they wore out and I installed some new cable protectors just because the old one well yeah they wore out so uh, sometimes you have to look at your cable protectors and if they're yeah, if they're gone you have to get new ones and protect your cables it's very important to do so because otherwise you will have failure on your printer and uh, it can be a pretty difficult failure you can have because there is power running through these cables. So when the cable breaks, uh, well, it can short out the system. Tip number three, get yourself some cooling. Uh, in this case, I have two fan ducts that are mounted here on my carriage. And uh, those two fan ducts, they bring cool air, which they suck up from here, and they bring it uh, to the nozzle. And the reason I do so is that when printing PLA, you want to make sure that the PLA is cooled right after it's printed. Because cooled PLA forms so much better than when the PLA is still a bit hot. So now I can make these very sharp cones, like uh, the tip of a rocket for example. So it's very very good to cool your PLA. Tip number four would be to install a webcam into your printer. And for this webcam you can use a very lightweight computer uh, which runs on Windows or uh, you can use a Raspberry Pi for it which runs on Linux. And uh, then you can uh, use this webcam to monitor your prints from abroad. So you can see how your prints are, are getting out of your printer uh, while you're not at home. So my tip number five would be, get yourself some high quality push fittings. Um, the push fittings they use on this printer are not that good. And you can get very, very good ones uh, for only a few dollars. So when the push fittings wear out, buy yourself some new ones, but buy yourself some expensive ones. They will be um, maybe three dollars instead of 50 cents and then you will have a push fitting that lasts for many thousands of prints. My tip number six, use an external spool holder so you can use separate filaments. They're not from XYZ printing, they're way cheaper and you can use them on the back of your printer if you have the external spool holder. Uh, in this video there will be a link to another video of mine where I explain how to use this spool holder and also there will be a link to where you can download this pool holder that I created especially for this printer. And I think it's world's most used spool holder uh, at this moment for this printer. At the back of your printer you will find this panel which you can open by unscrewing the screws here which are only two screws. And behind this panel you will find your 
computer boards. And in this area, you can find this part. This is your, uh, your, your memory card holder. It's a very specific holder to open and you have to know what you do before you open it. So this holder, there is a, lar uh, yeah, a small opening here in this holder. I can point it out here. This is the opening. And you can slide your nail in it. And then when you've done so, you can push it away a little bit. So you push it to the left. And then when you've done so, you can get out your SD card. So when you get out your SD card, replace it with a very good one. Use a brand type, use Lexar, use SanDisk, uh, that kind of, of bigger brands. Uh, I use an 8 gigabyte SD card because, well, uh, I will never ever use bigger files on this printer. So 8 gigabytes is more than enough. And to put it back in place again, just slide it in. Put it in its place until, until you feel that it's positioned right. And you have to be very, very careful. And of course, you have to make sure that you're not having power on your printer. And then uh, you slide the same panel to the right again, and then it's locked. So now this card is put back in place. And this is the way to replace your SD card in your printer. If you sometimes want to open your door just to see how your prints are going, then you notice that the printer is sensing that the door is opened and uh, you can't access your buttons anymore. So uh, when you now want to uh, interfere in your print, you will see that your buttons are no longer working. You can prevent the printer from noticing this by just making this very simple thing and I will put the link in the description down below. And when you place this here, then the printer thinks the door is now closed. So now I can close the door and it will stay on a very, very small opening here. Uh, but now the printer thinks the door is closed even when I open it. So this is a very handy part. And uh, I'll put the link in the description down below. It's not made by myself, uh, but it's very, very good to have. And my very last tip would be, subscribe yourself to the YouTube channel where they tell you everything about the DaVinci Pro machine. Uh, this is the YouTube channel, youtube.3d-printcreator.com. So you can subscribe yourself here on this channel, or you can go to the like button, give this video a like. And also, if you want to support this channel, well, there is a link in the description down below where you can buy me a cold drink. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.